Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Wacom, Texas. The show where you dream paths apart. And we screencast some art. I'm Chris Kerr. And I'm Jay Myers. Wacom, Texas. All right, let's get started. Today we're going to do things. Let's get started. Today we're going to do things. Things a little bit different. Okay, today we are going to show you how to make a really crappy drawing with uh, acrylic poster marker on eight and a half by eleven copier paper. Take a photo of your drawing with your phone, and then upload your phone drawing to your computer. And then, working in Photoshop, we'll show you how to adjust it. And color it. Yeah, what's it called? Yeah, fill. Fill. Uh, a, what's it called? Shortcuts to fill. Fill. All right, here we go. So um, I didn't do these drawings, but the, the cool thing, there's a couple we'll tips I'm going to teach you today. Yeah, no, no. There's a couple of tips that we're going to show you today, and one of them is if your marker's running out of ink and you're still drawing, we're going to show harder. you kind of how to make it look fine, though. We'll, we'll fix some of that in Photoshop, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't actually want to show these. Do you want to show them? All right, so, yeah. Because they're not mine. Here we go. We don't so we have this one. Um, we we don't suggest any of these things. So Jay was like, "Hey, why don't you draw some drug that, paraphernalia mm -hmm. and drug themed art?" So we've got drugs. No, I didn't say that. I said Doug, like the show. But oh, carts. No, they got it, Chris. They got it. All right. I didn't know if they wanted to see a close up. Well, we just lost one. Batman. Viewer. My mom's not gonna watch this anymore. Batman. That's pretty funny. I like that's that a, one. That's a popular character from comics. Mm -hmm. And we have this one. So which one are we doing? Uh, let's do the last one. I like this one. Is all right. That, so it's like got, Alien uh, Oscar. Yep. We got Oscar and Cornfield. So we've got them all. It's kind of like a Van Gogh. Similar. Uh, pretty similar. I've I've right, uploaded them all the already. So we've got one here. Okay, let's go ahead we and get started. This one. is the no. We I uploaded, uploaded all. One. Okay, we did. All right, so we've got the image here. What we're gonna do is Chris showed me this. Now you might not be able to see it on our screen, but at home at the top you'll have uh, get Photoshop a, file, get edit, Get a pen and, and paper ready, because you're gonna wanna write this down. Write this down, you're gonna go to what, layer? Layer, no, layer. no, 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 I'm sorry. Cross that off. You wanna go to image. Image. Adjustments. Adjustments, so you can see part of it here. Levels. Levels. I'm gonna bring that all into screen so you can see it there. So Click. what we're doing now is we're gonna sh we're gonna create a white and black in the levels. We're gonna you want true white, true black. Okay, so we're gonna click on what the white white dropper on, the, on the right, and then click on the darkest part of the white. Maybe you have a shadow. He's not clicking there. on it. No, click on the shadow. What see shadow? the shadow on the bottom left. Yeah, click on that area. Wow. Yep. There we go. Did not even see that there. All right. We're also trying to show. You have, a, you have to have a trained eye. So we've got the image now. We've kind of taken away the corner of the table, the white table underneath the picture, and we've taken out the shadow because we took it, the picture with our phone. Now what? Black. Click on the black eyedropper mm -hmm. and click on the lightest um, gray or black line in your drawing to make a solid black. Whoa! Let's undo Whoa, that. I don't know that happened. I, I, could I pick the really light? Oh. There. All right. So now that bumped up the contrast. Do we go any higher? What do you mean? Maybe click on one of the cloud lines. Yeah, click on one of those. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Good. All right. Man, that um, looks cool too. We might also have to use the eyedropper and the to brush kind of, tool to, to close off. To close off. Okay, that area. let me do that real quick. So you guys are. Uh, so any open shapes, and same with the the horizon line. Okay. Any open shapes, you want to make sure they're closed off because we're going to be doing fills, adding color to the drawing. Yep. Yep. So we're going to close off right. everything. And then the horizon line. The, maybe the, the, the left. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you see what we're doing. We're showing you some tips today. It's going to take a little bit longer because we're, we're going to really um, dive right in right. and show you some cool First stuff. First thing you want to do is go to the magic wand. Okay. Which is yep. magic wand. Yep. And click on the sky. The sky. Cool. All right. And then go to layer. Cool. All right. Layer. Write this down. Layer. Write it down. Um, and then not layer image. Nope, layer. Layer. Just kidding. Layer, new fill layer. Gradient. 
god. Okay. And then the little pull down, yeah, do that. Pick one. Have fun. That's kind of neat. That yeah, looks kind of sky. Cool. It's very cartoonish. Whoa. Oh. Oh. That's my favorite. Perfect. All right. Okay. So now guys know how to do a gradient. You got, you got a sky layer. already. Um, Can we do the the clouds next? Something weird's going on. You got to click on. No rasterize magic. You got to get off that. Layer. Oh yeah, I got you. Click, click on the photo two layer. Okay. Yep. And then unselect whatever was selected. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, then okay. go to the field maybe. Let's do go it. to the let's go to the clouds. Yeah, let's do the clouds. Mm -hmm. Edit, image, image. No, no. Layer. Now you just do, no, now you do Shift F five. Oh you talking to this? Okay, yeah. Shift F five. We're gonna fill it in. What color do we want this? Like toxic green. Toxic green. Yep. No, that's too toxic, right? Yeah. So this is gonna be trippy. Oh. Whoa. Do the other one. Okay. Shift F five. It's gonna do the same color mm -hmm. that way it matches. Yep. Unselect the sun. Let's get the sun, sun colored. Shift F five. It's just that easy. We're teaching you how to go straight from a really crappy drawing on paper, black and white, to a pretty sophisticated, heavily saturated, sophisticated uh, zine cover or comic book. Um, this could be an album cover. This could be an album cover right here. You could you could import text. Oh my wow, gosh! Look at this. We're almost done. Gray garbage can. So, like a lot of you guys like to put black light posters on your walls Ooh. in college and your dorms. Well, you could do that. Just pick out the right, the bright colors. We've We're got some blues. This, okay. Uh, all right. I'm sorry. I'm getting nervous. All right. Oh, we forgot to do the yep. hand, inside of the handle. What do you mean? The, Here? For the background. Uh huh. The void inside the handle of the garbage can lid. Oh, yeah. Too late now. No. It's too black. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Well, there'll be mistakes, but if you have a black light on, nobody's gonna notice. Nobody's gonna know. All right, shift up. So five. that's another good lesson to learn. You do multiple you shift. You can color things in. Yeah, I should have said that earlier. Okay. Nice. So we've got our picture. We've shown you some real tips today, some real tricks today. Now take these and, and make us a black light poster. Yep. Upload it to Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, all your tum Deviant um, Art. Deviant Art. Um, yeah. And send us an email. WacomTX at gmail.com. That's our episode. That's it. Until next time. <laughs>